This is a flow. Before. It takes ages to fill up then. It's not bad, but it could be better. So that's why I'm going to put in a new pump. Hopefully, we'll get a better flow. Okay, quick introduction to the water tank. This is a water tank. It's it's um, made of some sort of plastic. Um, so it holds 100 litres. It sits under the rear lounge seats. And what we've got here is a water inlet coming in to fill it. That's a big pipe here. And then we've got this is the the bit the water outlet and that goes to your taps and that is the pumps. That rubber seals came off there. Um, so basically, this is the cables that powers the submersible pumps that's under, that, that are in the tank, and that's the electrics from the the Heimer. That is where both the pump water come from, and on out the way. So that is the going to your taps. This is going to your taps. Um, this is an inspection hatch, so you can get in there and see what see what's going on. Uh, this allows you just to. Um, this one here just allows you to access the pumps and the, the fittings and stuff. These pipes here uh, are a overflow. So if you overfill it, the water just comes out here round and straight through the floor. So it starts it starts pouring. It starts pouring out. So as soon as you've overflow as soon as you've overfilled it, the water should all just go outside. That, that's basically it. It looks sort of more complicated than it is, but actually the, there's nothing to it. It's very simple and it's very easy to, to maintain. Tank's in pretty good, pretty good condition. So there's a slight bevel just in the middle, but apart from that, actually it's in, it's in great nick. So uh, we use this for, for all, our, all our water, obviously drinking water as well. Um, we just make sure we clean it really well and when it's not in use it's emptied um, so you need to keep it empty that is uh, the secret so we take this off see there's a chain to replace this because the original one was rusty and at the end of that chain there is a little plug now that just sits on a tiny wee hole there's, there's a wee hole in there and when you pull that plug, it empties the it empties the, uh, the tank. It's as simple as that. It's just a plug on a chain. And so it's great. Nothing to go wrong with that. Um, and it works really well. Decided to go for this. Twin submersible pump. Apparently this is the pump that was uh, originally in. And it should give, it gives 1.4 bar, 19 litres per minute. So it should, that should be plenty of pressure and should give us a much better pressure at the tap things I always think those two pumps that are fitted just now are ridiculous I'm going to replace the pumps and let's see what have a look at the state of this so, this is the pump set up So I'm going to replace that, this whole set up, it's just ordinary garden hose being used. So basically I'm just going to snip all this off, get rid of all this, as I say it's two of the cheapest pumps money can buy. Fourteen litres a minute. <laughs> I think that's a bit of a lie. It's more like fourteen litres a week that come out of that. Half a bar is probably about right. It's virtually no pressure in it. So basically, I'm just going to take these apart. These should just pop out. One, two. I'm going to use this. This is obviously the power from the the Heimer to power these I'll just put on 
two new clips onto the new the new pump. I'll just replace these. Don't need these anymore, so I'm just going to snap them and pull them through. Power cables. Get the junction. We're going to pull it through. Just ordinary garden hose. Right. Now, get rid of all this junk that's in the tank. And we're left with the original uh, fitting here. Now, what I've got is so this hose which just actually presses into this lid here. It actually presses in, it's a bit strange. There seems no way to hold that on. Twist it on sometimes. No. Just clips on there. There's no way to clip it on. There must be something. I'm sure somebody somewhere will know what's supposed to be in there. in the other pumps and it just sits like this in the pump and in, in the pump in the tank that actually looks like it's sheared off of there now there's a bit of a problem this has arrived with the the piece that joins onto your uh, hose pipe that is sheared off when it's arrived now um I can send that away, but unfortunately I'm going to be so busy. So what I'll do is I think I'll get a piece of I think I've got a piece of hose pipe. I'll just clip it onto the top of that. And hopefully that won't make much difference with this being missing. So if I get a piece of hose and then I'll join the piece I've got onto this and it should be Hopefully, I can get that a watertight fit. This been broken. This thing broken off. So basically, when when it's not broken, it's just a matter of connecting your hose in. It's not a very good connection for that hose. That hose is rubbish. But uh, it'd probably be tighter um, if you've got a decent hose. Um, and then that's it. It's connected. Dead easy. Sorted. But because I don't have this. I am going to use this, which is a brand new waste pipe for a wash machine, and it just so happens that actually fits right over there perfectly. So what I'll do is I'll put on a stainless steel Jubilee clip, and I'll hold that on, cut that to size, connect it onto this, um, connect it onto that, and then that should be it. I'll take this clip off, and I'll clip it up here. So that it's nice and tight, stick it to length, and that should work perfectly. So that's it there basically, just need it that long. Um I'll take this off now. So push this on. I've got my clips here, stainless steel Jubilee clip. Not the best Jubilee clip, but it is really difficult to get decent ones of these in a variety of sizes. In a e container. This is a container I've got. This one, but as you can see, that's mostly the cheap type. The, it's mostly these type, which are the sort of cheaper ones. But they are apparently stainless, and there's a few different sizes. It's exactly what you need for any work. In your, your van, you're going to need 
loads of those things. So, there we go. That's that maxed out. Doesn't take much. Now, uh, I want to put that on there. Should just fit in. No more. Hopefully. Yeah, it's just fitting, it's going to be tight. So I want to put one of these on first. Um, the size looks good. I'll get that on there. I was going to say, I'm just using a wee bit of. This is a wash machine waste. See, once I've get uh, once I've got time, I'll buy a proper hose pipe for this. It's about twenty. Is that twenty eight mil? I think it is. Right. Takes a wee bit of squeezing. Okay. Hose clip. Top. It pretty well. Should be. So, okay. Right now, that's it. Solid. So I'm going to drop that in the tank. Drop this in. Let's put that on. The cable through one of these cable holes. Through the professional looking one. That's sand. Like so. Just make sure that's. That's sitting absolutely perfectly on the tank. Here we go. Now, let me put this on. Screw that in now. Going to be working at a much higher pressure, so I actually want to put on there's no hose clip on this junction. So I'm going to put a wee one on yep. because it's going for half a bar. The other pumps give, and this is going to be one and a half bar, so the pressure is going to be three times as great. And I didn't notice that this was leaking a tiny fraction, just a, just a drip every now and then. do now is get the polarity run the right way for this so the blue is a positive so this has to be reversed so that is the, the positive on this one and that's a negative and the positive is a blue and a negative is a brown and I've checked this with a meter already so what I'm going to do is put on a couple of spade connections and then we'll get this connected up so what I've got red one and red and the red goes to the and that should be us ready to test here we go It's actually much better. 